Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Today is the Tuesday morning, the 12th of February. Today as well is the third day still within the Chinese Linear New Year period. As in the Chinese calendar, the Chinese New Year took place from the 1st to the 15th. So that is 15 days in total. And in this video, I'm going to talk particularly on the enlarge of splints because why not? I haven't been talking about in my video as well as podcast. Thought we will be an interesting interactive topic to talk about as there is many telecemia intermediate as well as telecemia major patient have the enlarge of splint and certain percentage of patient have to get it removed uh, in the end. So let's go talk about it. So as compared, I think from telecemia intermediate, maybe an uh, example for a few months old kids as compared to a telecemia major, which is a few months old kids. The percentage, I think, for telecemia intermediate to get their spleen removed as compared to telecemia major is higher. The reason why I think is because if you think about it, telecemia intermediate, most of them uh, did not start transfusion yet as compared to major, it's like baby, because the doctor have to pant whether uh, what the genetic disease this uh, telecemia intermediate have and want to observe whether the telecemia intermediate have the potential to really produce the red blood cell on its own to really uh, consider before have to start its transfusion in telecemia intermediate. So when that's the case, telecemia intermediate are either on the supplements basis uh, in the period of time before transfusion or in the less uh, frequency of uh, blood than the telecemia major who is on regular blood transfusion. So in that scenario, the telecemia intermediate spleen is working uh, much harder than the patient uh, as a telecemia major who are on the regular blood transfusion where the spleen is not working that hard. So in that scenario, telecemia intermediate spleen has a higher chance of getting it enlarged. So when it's that case, they have to get it uh, removed. And telecemia major, they might uh, have to get it removed uh, after they turn a uh, major uh, because that uh, doctor might be worried about the future as in, in baby, they really need uh, so much amount of blood. And imagine a few years later and when he or she is an adult, the patient, it might require more amount of blood uh, and it will enlarge anyway the spleen so the, the doctor suggests to get it removed anyway in the telecemia major kids uh, with enlarged spleen. So the reason why uh, telecemia majors, let's say for example, a telecemia major with uh, enlarged spleens will have to come for blood transfusion every two weeks for every three units of blood. So when that uh, scenario occurs, the doctor already uh, earlier thing already know that is uh, enlarged or splints uh, based on the uh, maybe the doctor exam the patient uh, stomach area tummy area to fill the spleen and another sequence is the the patient need to count for blood transfusion more frequently uh, more than the no normal average patients so let's say the patient need to come every two weeks for uh, three amount of blood whereby the average uh, range varies in calicemia major only three weeks for three amount three uh, units of blood like my case three weeks for three amount uh, three uh, units of blood every three weeks so this patient have to come one week before uh, earlier to compensate the uh, lost hemoglobin a loss might be because also due to the the activities the patient have as an active sporty person that uh, drain the hemoglobin much faster than other patients. But in that scenario, when that occurs, the doctor will suggest to get it removed. Uh, so not to, uh, make it because as it's enlarged, it will get even worse in the enlarge it in the future until the cure is released. So uh, also that uh, when getting the spleen removed in that particular patient, it will tremendously reduce the amount of blood transfusion need in that particular patient. So after the schematry is done, 
the patients uh, just need to come for blood transfusion, let's say for example, every five weeks for two amounts of blood, uh, every five weeks for three amount of blood. So that's a tremendous uh, reduce in the red blood. In fact, it surpassed the need in the blood transfusion in uh, the average thalassemia major form. So the doctor particularly was suggested, but in other words, uh, getting a splint uh, removed is not that easy as you think. First, it's a surgery process, of course. You have to uh, like drill four holes in, in your stomach area to get it removed. It's a surgery process. It has risk, uh, but it's safe. But the concern is that after the schematry is done, you lost an organ, a main organ, that every organ in the body has its own death to uh, contribute to the body. So when uh, a patient with the spleen removed has a much higher chance than a patient with the spleen on. So it might, the patient with the spleen removed have a higher chance of getting infection and all sort of uh, uh, maybe low immune system uh, due to this patient has less uh, organ less than the normal healthy patient uh, or patient in particular. So this uh, patient has to take extra precaution in his daily diet or daily health in order to withstand not to uh, cause any inf uh, that f infection that leads to uh, lifelong complication in the future. So, but anyway, that's the personal preference. The thalassemia major might might not want uh, if the the patient is like old enough to uh, judge by himself he's above 21 he can't uh, he know his situation he can either come for blood transfusions every two weeks for three units of blood and not to undergo the the skimmy tree uh, in order to uh, because the the body already need that much of blood so he need uh, the patient need to come for for two weeks for that um, um, amount of blood he needed in order not to get the spleen removed so if the patient choose to get the spleen removed and the patient will have the uh, better uh, re re better sequence as in the uh, he will come for blood transfusion every five weeks and that reduce tremendously the iron level as well as the complication of having more transfusions so that's a personal preference but it, it in long terms it will uh, enlarge and that's even worse in that patient uh, with two weeks every uh, three units of blood and in the end it might result in the uh, the, the, uh, the spleen enlarged to a certain extent that it might uh, feel uncomfortable, it start to hurt when you move around, bend down, jog, it will feel the pain there. when that occurs the, the, the doctor will have to get it removed anyway so because it's affecting your daily life so yes just to share with you a quick one on the enlarge of spleen so what is the scenario a patient face as a thalassemia intermediate as well as major so thanks for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one bye for now